Hi again everyone, this is Yarrow from Blog Mastermind and on the line with me is John Sadler. And John, where are you calling from? I'm from Manchester in the UK. Okay. Well, the accent gives well, that the away. sun is shining. The sun is shining. Oh wow, that's good. The sun is shining here too, so it's <laughs> very nice. So John, tell us first a little bit about your, your blog projects. Uh, I don't know if you have more than one. No, right now I just have one. Uh, the first thing I want to say was, is that when you launch Blog Mastermind, um, it was at a time when I was really thinking about doing some blogging. Uh, I'd come in from a situation where I thought that blogging was about saying what your cat was doing or what you've been doing at the shops today or whatever. Um, and in fact, when I looked at Entrepreneur's Journey and sort of saw the kind of stuff you were doing, that really rang a bell with me. Now, one thing I think is extremely important in all this stuff is timing. Whether it's in business, in your love life, in whatever, it's all about timing. Unless the time is right, it ain't going to work. And in fact, your launch of Blog Mastermind was so well timed for my needs, it was just wonderful. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so I really had an idea as to what I wanted to blog about, and that was about improving your marketing, which obviously is a very mainstream thing, by using NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming. Now, to put it in a nutshell, I guess NLP is all about improved communications, understanding how somebody thinks something through and how they make a decision. And for me, that's a, a natural extension to marketing. But I had not actually read about anybody that was really sort of putting those two things together. So when your course came along, I sort of thought, okay, um, I want to be preeminent in this field. I want people to believe that I know what I'm talking about. Um, and in fact, that was just six months ago now. And over the last six months, I've had 10,000 people visit my blog. Um, and for me, I, I feel quite content with that kind of number. Sure, it's not 100,000, it's not a million. Uh, but I'm still only in the first year of my blog, so I sort of feel I've still got a long way to go. But certainly, discovering your course in the first place, then going through it over the, 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 the number of lessons, I must say, initially, I was not up to speed with the blog. I only started the blog a month or two after I'd started the course. But I'd sort of had time to digest what I read in the course, um, time to sort of put it together in some kind of concept that worked for me. And so really, when I actually started implementing the lessons, I'd already started writing uh, and I'd, I'd sort of got my, my first um, pieces up and running. So the way that it's worked out for me is now I've sort of passed the end of the course and it's been a couple of months now since I finished and I'm still learning. I'm still putting these things into practice. Okay, I'll give you a kind of potted history. <laughs> it is, and, and just for people who are interested, what's your address so we, we actually have this uh, location of your site? Okay, yeah, I must tell you that. Yes, okay. Well, it's a pretty complex one. It's something you pointed out to me early on shouldn't be this complex, but this is the way it is, and this is where we've got to do it. Okay, so the site is called Bite Size, that's B I T E Size, dash marketing, dash NLP dot com. All so right. it's a bit of a mouthful. It is. But in reality, it fits together quite well in terms of a concept because the bite size bit comes from the fact that I'm putting together bite sized pieces of teaching, bite sized pieces of information about marketing and NLP. So those three words describe quite well what the blog is all about. Okay, fantastic. So we have a good background now. Can you explain maybe a technique or you know, any strategy you learned from within the program that you then directly applied to your blogging and what kind of result you then achieved? Okay, I think what I'd like to use for that is an, as an example of, I, over the time that I've been blogging, I've come to contact some very good people out there in, in the blogosphere. Um, one of those guys is called Lewis Burns, and he is actually a copywriter that has NLP at the center of his copywriting. And I thought it would be very interesting uh, to put together a course which taught people how to do NLP copywriting, because it's such an important part of marketing. So I have actually been proofreading his courses as he's gone through, and I'm up to about number 11. It's number 12 is the last one. And the way that I've started to market that now is I announced it at a very special price a couple of weeks back um, when we first launched it. And I announced it to the, the people that are reading my blog. I told people about it on Twitter because I hear from Ed Dale that's a very good way to market things these days. Mm -hmm. um, I'd also got signed up with uh, AWeber, and so I send out the news through AWeber a too. And in a combination of, 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 of strategies like that, I sort of thought that was the way to sort of completely cover the opportunities I had to affiliate market his product. So now we're at a stage where we've had the first number of people come in through the blog link, um, a couple of people come in through the AWeber link, 
uh, I guess people coming through the Twitter link, but it's difficult for me to know when that happens. So I must say, I've not made my first million yet. I'm a long <laughs> way from doing that. I'm still very much learning about the affiliate side, to be perfectly fair. Uh, but I sort of, I've certainly made my first $10, in the words of Ed Tail in his um, uh, marketing program. So I'm sort of past the starting post, still got a long way to go. And, but in fact, what I'm finding is, is that working closely with somebody that's actually writing the course is perhaps a bit of a specialized way to do affiliate marketing. But I find that's a way that I enjoy, a way that I feel comfortable with, and a way that I think will work uh, in the longer term. All right, fantastic. So you could say uh, Blog Mastermind was a good introduction to how to do affiliate marketing through blogging, and you've then taken that on board and sure. formed this partnership. Absolutely. Okay. So just to wrap up our call then, John, uh, if someone's watching this and they're not sure whether their you know, blog mastermind is right for them, what would you say? Who do you think is the right person to join a program like this? Well, okay. I think that it should be probably something that's got an idea as to what they want to talk about and probably the, the commitment to keep at it because I believe a lot of blogs give up in like the first three months of operation. And I say I'm six months down the track now and I haven't given up yet. <laughs> so I would say that you need a bit of commitment. You need a way of thinking about things so you can react to situations, react to responses that you get, the kind of comments you get back and so on. Because I find one of the most rewarding things about blogging are the comments you get back. Um, so many different people give you so many different sort of angles on what you're doing and, and ways that they appreciate and ways that they'd like to see it go. Um, so I would say that you've got to be willing to listen to what people say to you. You've got to be willing to do the writing, do it regularly, however regularly you decide to do it. Um, be prepared for some setbacks. I would suggest it's probably never ever going to work exactly right when you start. And that's the beauty about Blog Mastermind because you've got the forum to, to refer back to, to ask people questions on. That forum has been so useful to me. And each time I've asked a question for the forum, I've always got a very high quality answer. So for me, that has been one of the best things about Blog Mastermind. Okay, fantastic. So uh, I would say that somebody coming into this, it will be a very good investment for you to do this. I mean, certainly, Yari, your, your, your blog is terrific. Anybody should look at your blog, study your blog, find out what they can learn from your blog first before they start their own blog. But certainly use that as a, as a standard, a very good industry standard way of writing a blog. Um, adopt what you're given in the way of guidance and suggestions and support. And I've always found you very easy to get to, too. That's the other thing I would say, is that you've always been accessible. I interviewed you were my first interview on my blog, which I was very pleased about. Uh, and, and also, you're, you're very willing, you're very available, um, and very upfront. You're very an honest guy to deal with. So, uh, <laughs> Thank you, John. That's the way I want to tell it, and uh, I hope that sounds okay. <laughs> okay. Well, that's wonderful, John. I appreciate taking the time to do this, and I hope uh, your blog continues to grow really well. And, and uh, good luck, and, and thanks for joining me. Thank you very much, Sharon.